Kriya spent her first two days on Zanzibar exploring the fascinating history of the Stone Town World Heritage Site in the capital city before ending her expedition with a sunset Dao cruise. We pick up the story the following morning with Kriya having just made a rather bumpy trip up the west coast of the island. I've just travelled about 90 minutes north of Stone Town to a small fishing village just outside of Nungui called Makokotone. As you can see behind me, the seas are rough and the wind is really strong, which means I'm probably not going to see as much fish as I hoped for. But it is really early in the morning, so hopefully the early bird has caught some fish. The choppy waters were a sign to the local fishermen that their quarry would probably be sheltering in deeper waters. So they were making use of the opportunity to do some maintenance. Almost all their vessels are made of wood. And a little way along the beach, Kriya came upon the local boatyard with artisans building dows in time-honored fashion. Ribs and planks are still shaped by hand using a shipwright's adze, an axe-like tool with a blade set at right angles to the shaft. Measurements are made mainly by eye, with each individual piece being trimmed for a perfect fit. The Indian Ocean Dao trade linked East Africa to India, the Persian Gulf and Arabia. In fact, it was the Arabs that introduced the Dao to East Africa. Here in Nungui, it's part of everyday life. I'm going to find out more. Jambo! Ah, oh, Jambo, Jambo. How are you? Oh, fine, fine. You? Good, thank okay, you. Okay, okay. Welcome. You, you busy building your Dao? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are going to make the Dao. You know, here usually we make a different size of Dao uh -huh. and different shape. Uh, it depends on the someone who wanted to buy about. You can say I need either a big dow yeah. or small dow. So uh, this would be a big or a small dow? Uh, this one is a medium size. Medium, medium. size. Uh, sometimes we make bigger than this. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Why is the wood burnt? When we make the boat, we should bend the wood. Bend it? Yes, to bend them or to twist them as to, to make the shape of the dow. Well, yeah. thank you very much for showing me oh, how you make thank dows. You, thank you, thank you. Such an, it's an art to yeah. make a dow. <laughs> thank you very much. The onshore breeze made the morning a little cooler and conditions were ideal for a stroll along the water's edge. One of the things that has always interested me is animal conservation, specifically marine animal conservation. So when coming to Nungui, I just had to visit the Nurani Natural Aquarium because it's a sanctuary for turtles. This NGO began as a community-based project in 1993 with the aim of conserving two endangered local species, the hawksbill and the green turtle. Traditionally, hawksbills were hunted for their shells and green turtles for their meat. The conservation pond has turned this around. Hello. Hey. How are you? Very good. Very nice You're to meet you. Welcome to Mnarani Thank Marine you. Charter Conservation Project. They are absolutely beautiful. Wow, they're always beautiful. You're welcome. Would you like to feed them? Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Karib, you can have a seat, please. How did the turtles come to be at Mnarani? This place is working at the rehabilitation center. So we get these guys while they are rescued from fishermen's net or fishermen's hawk while they are hurt, you know? So you work together with the community to actually rehabilitate turtles? Yeah, that's the, the biggest this one. This is the biggest one. He's gonna get he's gonna get released back on 20 of February. I've always wanted to see turtles like this. They are absolutely beautiful and the fact that there's a sanctuary here that's looking after them and the community is looking after them. It really it's inspiring for me. You've seen all of these big guys here yeah. so I would like to take you and show you the baby turtles. <laughs> yeah. Bye guys. Bye bye. So these are your baby turtles? Yeah, these are the baby turtles. Who we collected them from the beach. How do the baby turtles come to be at the sanctuary? Um, normally we collect the baby turtles from the beach when they just hatched and we bring them here. How old are these little guys? They're getting up to two months almost. How many different kinds of turtles do you have in East Africa? In East Africa we get about five different types who they keep migrating around. Mm -hmm. Have you seen an increase in the number of turtles after the sanctuary started? The number is increasing. If I try to compare, you know, like every time we're bringing down like 100 baby turtles, like 200 baby turtles, we're helping them here at the centre. So the community helps quite a bit. I mean, they go out and they help you gather seaweed to feed the turtles in the afternoons yeah. as well. You know, we're working as a team. They also join us between the day when we do beach cleaner, okay. like big, big beach cleaner. 
The hatchlings start out weighing only about 25 grams, so they need plenty of feeding. So the turtles have to eat something, which means we have to do some seaweed farming. So Suleiman, you're going to teach me how to do this? Yeah, I would okay. like to teach it's you It's quite how easy. To yeah, it's quite easy. All right. Yeah. So you just have to do like that, you okay. see? And then you keep some squeezing more. them okay. to make sure it's dry. You're only clever, picking up the bottom. Yeah. Clever. Yeah. So it's not so much about drying the seaweed as much as it is no. to save you carrying all that yeah, water to back. Save, to save your energy. So how many times a day do you do this? Uh, we do this just once a day because it, uh, the tide out is just happening once, once a day. day. Yeah. I need to learn. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me today. Karibu. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. Bye-bye. Kriya was keen to add to her image diary and the Dao's reminded her that Zanzibar has had links with the Middle East and India for some 15 centuries and that even today, Kerala on the west coast of the subcontinent is considered to be the place where this ancient vessel design was perfected. Thank you. Even a hungry lunch companion couldn't distract Kriya from reviewing the day. Looking back at all the memories I've captured today, Nungri really is a picturesque part of Zanzibar with its white sandy beaches and turquoise blue waters. Getting to see the turtle sanctuary today was a dream come true and then seeing how dows were made, it really is an art. But for now, I'm going to sit back, relax and enjoy the view. We'll leave Kriya to enjoy her lunch, but we'll be back in Zanzibar soon.